Hi, this is Kelly from Patika Kelly and Play Learn Talk, and this is a special request video from one of my YouTube friends. So yesterday I had someone ask if I could demonstrate how to create a navigation page that basically allowed you to have a quiz and a learn section, okay? So we want to make sure our deck is set to flow magic as we start this process. I'm gonna try to do all of this in less than 10 minutes, so make sure you have that time to set aside, take notes if you need to, pause the video if you need to, and come back to each section. This should be pretty comprehensive and you should feel really clear at the end how to do this. So we want to have our main navigation page. So I am simply going to label each of these pages. It's going to be very bare bones, but we'll have all the linking very clear. All right. Okay. So we're going to go up to details and we make sure that flow magic is selected. Okay. Now this is our main navigation page. So let's go ahead and put um, our main page. All right. So I'm going to put that right here and I'm going to stretch it out because I'm going to be using this for labeling each of our pages. All right, so here's our main page and I'm going to go ahead and copy that and we'll duplicate this page. All right, so we have our main page and then we're gonna have our um, instructions page, okay? So on the main page, I want to have a link to the instructions somewhere. So let's go ahead and put instructions here and we'll put it down at the bottom, okay? And here's our instructions page and we'll duplicate this card again Okay, we're going to go back and put all the coding in after we've labeled everything. So we have main page, instructions, this will be the start of our game. So here we want to have um, two different linking buttons, all right? So we want to have our quiz button, and we're going to size that down, and let's put it right here. And then we're going to copy this one, so we can just hit duplicate if our co uh, command C shortcut doesn't work and we'll have a learn section as well. Actually, we should probably switch that. So we'll do learn first, okay? So learn and quiz. And then let's say we have, um, we'll have three quizzes and three learn sections, all right? So let's go ahead and add a new card. We're going to copy in our text and this will be learn, or we'll do lesson number one. Okay, so we have lesson number one and we're going to clone the card and change it to lesson number two. And we're gonna clone it again and lesson number three. All right, and let's go ahead and make all of these pages, we'll give them a color so it's really easy to see, we'll make them blue. So our lesson pages are going to be blue and we're going to make sure learn also has a blue background so it's very easy for us to see. So now we can go ahead and clone this card again and we're gonna change it to quiz number one. Let's go ahead and change that background to yellow. Okay, now we can duplicate this one. So we're going to have a duplicate. So we have quiz number two and quiz number three. Okay, we're going to go back to our quiz button, make sure it's yellow so we can go through things and just kind of power through it. Okay, so on our pages, so let's say we have a full lesson, it's going to be multiple pages. So at the end of the lesson, I want my um, end button to probably proceed me on to the next uh, quiz maybe. So let's go ahead and do a button that at the end of our lesson, I'm not going to add the page for it, but this is just what your link will be. So let's have quiz here. Okay, so we'll do quiz number one. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make that yellow just so we can see it. All right, and we're going to actually copy that button, Command C, and we're going to move it on to the other page. Okay, this will be for quiz two. And on lesson three, let's put it here for quiz number three. Okay, and we also want our student to be able to go back. Maybe they clicked the wrong lesson, so let's have a back button. We can go ahead and just copy it and you know, duplicate that button again. Let's put it up here and let's have our um, uh, learn section. We'll just call it learn, okay? And we're gonna change the color to, um, we'll change it back to blue, but let's give it a border this time so we can easily see it and it really pops out, okay? So we'll do this. All right, so now we wanna take that learn button and we're gonna also put that on each of the pages. Okay, so that is going to link back to this navigation page. All right, 
Uh, let's see, learn quiz. Mm, oh, actually, I'm sorry. So we need to add a page in here. So on the learn page, learn is going to link to the learn page. So we actually need to put out our three different lessons. So let's go ahead and do uh, lesson number one. So you probably would benefit from actually pausing this and going back, you know, as you're doing it. Um, just now I'm thinking of that. Okay, so you can always do that if you need. All right, lesson number two, and then we're going to duplicate that again. Lesson number three. And like I said, this is just very bare bones. I'm not worrying about aligning anything. Um, all right, so here we have those links. And let's go ahead and copy this page, and we're just going to change it to quiz number one and quiz number two, and so on. All right. So here we have quiz number three. Okay, and then we need to change quiz to yellow and lesson to blue. All right. So another thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to lesson number one, and we're going to take these buttons and we're going to select both of them, Command C, and we're going to move them over to our quiz page. Okay, and then all we have to do is change this one, quiz, and we're going to center it. And this one is going to be, maybe um, we want to say review lesson one. Review lesson number one. And we'll do that. Okay, so let's make that a little smaller. I don't know if you would even have a review section if you're in the quiz, um, but I want to give you the option. So um, the lesson is going to be blue, so we'll change it, and quiz is going to be yellow. Oops, let's see what happened here. Quiz needs to be yellow. All right, so now we can actually copy these buttons to each of the pages, and then we just have to change the wording. So Command C, move over to Command and we'll change to lesson two and lesson three. Okay, um, so now I think we are ready to do our coding. Okay, so here we have our main page. Our instructions uh, needs to be linked, so we're going to link to our instruction page. All right, and now on the instruction page, we need to be able to get back to our main menu, so let's go ahead and do that one. So we'll do, um, maybe we'll just say start. Right, so after they've read the instructions, they have a start button. So we'll put start here. And that start button is going to link to our learn versus quiz page. Okay, so learn and quiz. This is just bothering me that it's not center, so I'm going to move it over a little bit. All right, so now we have two choices. So we have learn and quiz. We want to make them both buttons. All right, learn, we want to link to the learn navigation page. And quiz, we want to link to our quiz navigation page that page is done. All right, so here we have lesson number one, number two, number three. So on this page, we also want to have it link back or have a back button to our last navigation page, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and put that back button there and link it to the main navigation page. Now we're also gonna wanna use that same one on the yellow one so we can actually just copy it and the coding is already done for us. Okay, let's go back to the blue page. So lesson number one, we need to link it to lesson number one. All right, let's go ahead and link lesson number two, which is right next to it, and lesson number three right here. Okay, so now we can move on to our yellow page. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna link now to quiz number one and we're gonna to link to quiz number two and quiz number three. All right, and let's move on to our lesson page. So learn needs to be linked to the learn section, the learn main page. Let's see, did we miss anything here? Uh, let's see, these both have back buttons. Okay, and okay, so learn, this is gonna link back to our learn page. Um, which is, let's see, here, and let's go down and do this again. So we could have saved time if I had just done that in the first place, but sometimes when you're making these, they get a little bit complicated, right? So um, it really doesn't take too much extra time to do this. All right, so we'll go back to the lesson page. All right, so you know what page you're on. Sometimes you might get lost or I get lost, so I just have to reference. Okay, here's where the red outline is. And now we just need to link to our quiz, okay? 
So these are all links. Let's go back to lesson number one, and we're going to link qu to quiz number one. So link to quiz number one. Now we're going to go to lesson number two and link to quiz number two. And lesson number three, we're going to link to quiz number three. All right. So those should be done. So we can double check that everything is done because it'll have a highlight around it. You could also click on it and see, you know, that it's linked to something. All right, so let's move on to our quiz number one. So we want to link back to our main quiz page, which is right here. Okay, so we're going to go through all of them systematically to make sure they are all linked correctly. And here is our last link for our quiz navigation page right here. And we're going to come back to quiz number one, and we're going to link to the lesson review. So lesson number one, and so on. So we are almost done. All right. And lesson number three. Now, if there's anything I missed in here, we are going to preview it. But if there's anything I missed that you would like to know how to do within this kind of thing, uh, please let me know in the comments below. All right. So the only other thing I can think is maybe we want to have an end button. So at the end of your your quiz, maybe instead of review lesson three, you could just have a like a finish button, a finish button. So I'm finished. You can just do that. So I'm finished, or I guess a submit button, right? Um, and you simply would link that to um, terminate play if you wanted that. Okay. So let's go ahead and preview everything. I highly recommend you preview it to make sure it actually is working. So here's our main menu. We go to instructions. And we read our instructions. Now we're ready to start. We want to learn first. Let me go to lesson number one. So I've learned it. I can go back to the learn area and learn lesson number two if I want to. Go back. So maybe I want to do all the lessons before doing the quizzes. And let's go to lesson number one. I'm ready to take the quiz. And you know, maybe I need to review the lesson so I can go back. That works. Okay. So Let's go back to the main quiz. So we have quiz number two. And that's lesson number two if we wanted to review it. Okay, we'll go back to quiz two. And back to the main page, quiz three. Review lesson number three. Okay, perfect. All right, so I think everything is working just fine. Um, that is how you would basically link all your navigation buttons. So I hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next. Um, I have a few things lined up, but I would like to hear from you on what would be valuable for you as you are creating, um, especially over this winter break. All right, you guys, bye.